So make it count. If you guys are someone who's been doing this for quite a while and this video is not for you, go ahead and turn off this video, go to the next video. But if you're somebody getting into the fragrance world, if you just tumbled upon the proverbial rabbit hole, you went and you know searched for a review of a fragrance and then you just couldn't stop watching, that means you're really getting into fragrance. So you do see the effect and the power that these little juices have on you, meaning memories, emotions, and everything that's tied into wearing these beautiful juices. So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about seven ways in which to help you. And even if you're a little bit seasoned, you've been doing this for a long time, maybe you'll take something from this video that's gonna be of value. So stay tuned guys, I'm gonna go through seven reasons and seven you know, topics on how you can actually make your experience more enjoyable and better. So let's hop into it. Welcome back to another video, Max Forty here. This is a channel where we do help gentlemen and ladies, anyone that love to smell amazing and make a great first impression. Today we're gonna to talk about seven topics and seven uh, situations in which you're gonna make your journey more approachable, more enjoyable, and certainly easier for you to enhance your fragrance collection. Coming from a guy that has over 4,000 bottles over the last 25 years, I did start this hobby when I was about you know, 13, 14 years old, I was seven, eighth grade. So I have fragrances that are perhaps a little older than a lot of you watching this video, not all of you, but some of you. So I'm gonna give you guys seven tips or hacks in order to make your journey more pleasurable, more enjoyable. So let's hop into it. So the first hack or the first you know, advice I would give you guys is definitely research, due diligence. Make sure you guys try this stuff. Make sure you guys go through websites, whether it be Fragrantica, which I do enjoy, whether it be Base Notes or Parfumo.now, which is another one that I do enjoy. Go through the notes, make sure you train your nose, smell a lot, try a lot of fragrances, try them before you actually buy the full bottles. Really try to find what is your profile that you most enjoy, whether it be the citrus aromatic, the florals, uh, the woody spicy, uh, the fougeres, the sheepers. There are so many families and different variations of those families that I think the more you try, the more you're going to enhance your olfactive um, abilities to pick up notes and to discern really what you do enjoy. And over the years, a lot of the fragrance that I didn't like to begin with, I actually became enamored with it you know, as time progresses. So I think the more you try, the more research you do, uh, the better you're going to be training your nose to develop your nose and then define and find the actual uh, profiles and, and, and scents and aromas and profiles that you do favor the most. Myself, you know, over the past 30 plus years, I do come to the conclusion that I do favor vintage fragrances, I do favor vetiver or base scents, and I do love my fougere. So to each its own, and I do love everything, like I said, with 4,000 4, plus bottles, I do have a gamut uh, of different fragrances from all different spectrums, whether it be designer, indie, niche, or vintage. And staying within the due diligence research, make sure you find bloggers or vloggers that you do enjoy, whether it be channels, um, on YouTube or websites, you know, there's a you know a gentleman that I do enjoy uh, watching myself. That's Persilase. He has a channel here on YouTube, and he also has a blog. So if you do like to read, that's a great way to do that. If you like watch content, you know, that's kind of like what I'm doing here. You could do that as well. Find content creators that you resonate with. I guess is the next hack or the next tip. Somebody that shares the same kind of views as you do, or your taste is similar to that person. And of course, watch everybody or as much as many people as much as you want so you can get you know different takes on different things and then you're going to find out okay this person thinks more like me or i think more like this person i resonate more with this person and then you're going to find your content creators that you do enjoy the most i think that's very important as well that way you will stay in the know because content creators here on youtube for the most part will try to give you guys the latest and the greatest you know exactly what's going on in the fragrance world new releases you know uh from designers niche or indie and i think having a content creator that you do trust is not actually a commodity to have it's actually a, a plus to have because then your journey and your research becomes a little bit easier as we try to bring this stuff to you in the most um, easiest way to take in another great way that i do love to uh, continue to uh, enhance my journey and my knowledge with fragrances is all actually books or also books uh, Michael Edwards, Fragrances of the World is one of my favorites because it breaks down into the categories, all the different families, the different releases within those families. It talks about history of these fragrances. So I think Fragrances of the World, uh, Michael Edwards is a great way to enhance your knowledge of fragrances. And another book that I do, I mean, there's a ton of great books and I'm gonna actually list them. Maybe I'll put like my top five or top 10 in the description of this video for you know sake of time. I'm not gonna go through all the books. Maybe I'll do a video just on literature and books. 
But another one that I do enjoy a lot is this one right here by Roja Parfum. And this is actually the essence of perfume. What I do love about this one also, not only goes through all the great fragrances of the world throughout the years, but also breaks down compounds, notes, and ingredients very, very in-depth. So it's a great one to have. I think if you start with these two, you're gonna be in great shape. But again, I'm gonna list maybe my top five in the description of this video to make your life easier with your links and all that good stuff as we do here. Another great way to engage and talk to like-minded individuals to share your thoughts and maybe you have fragrances in your collection that you don't love anymore or you wanna try something else or you wanna trade, sale, swap. Guys, the groups are a great way to do that and there are tons of groups on Facebook I've had a group on Facebook, I've, I've been going on seven years now, and it's the Emporium of Sense. It has over 25,000 members. You guys are welcome to join. And on that group, you can actually find a ton of great savings, discount codes. You're gonna interact with like-minded individuals, just like we're doing here, but on a live basis. And you, like I said, you can buy, you can sell, you can trade, you can get discount codes, and tons of great information, news, you name it, and form of sense, I'm gonna list it below, but again, there are a ton of groups out there. If you do your research, due diligence, you will find some other groups that you guys might like it even more. But I, I am proud of uh, the Emporium of Sense. I've been, like I said, running it myself with my wife for over seven years. And we do pride that group for being a very clean group, a group that we discuss ideas, not people. And of course, the passion that we all have, which is fragrance. So check it out, the link is below, and I hope to see you there. Next up, we're gonna talk about events. We're gonna talk about situations where not only you can interact with people, but not on a computer or on a virtual basis, you can actually see people in person and discuss ideas, go through uh, different uh, varieties of fragrances um, and, and have a great time. Sort of like, you know, uh, the Disneyland or Disney World of fragrances. And there are a few events out there that I've been to that I would highly recommend you guys check out. Uh, the first one is going to be Exence, which happens in Italy, um, Milan, Milano to be exact. It usually happens between March and April every year. And you guys, again, I'll have the link below. You can check out Exence and it's a great place. You're gonna have you know, upwards of 300 brands, which sometimes can be a little bit daunting within you know three to four days that you're there to experience all the lines, which I think it's rather impossible to do. I was there a couple weeks ago and I did experience about 30 plus brands. So it's about 10% of what I was able to do within three and a half days at, 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 at that convention. So, or expo, whatever you want to call it, but it is great. It's going to have a lot of newcomers, a lot of uh, brands that you guys heard of. So it is a great, very immersive way to really dive into the world of fragrances and really from all over the world, you're gonna experience, you know, hundreds, literally hundreds of fragrances. So Exons is definitely one that I would recommend. Pitti in Florence, which I think happens in September, is one that I've never actually been to. From what I hear, it's actually pretty good and it's also smaller venue than Exons. So you can actually have a more personal um, you know, interaction with these brands and folks that are attending the event. So I am really looking forward to perhaps being at Pitti in Florence. If you guys watching this have been at Pitti in Florence, let me know in the comments what your thoughts about it, how you think it would actually compare with Exxon's. Is it better, is it worse? Please let me know in the comments. And last but not least, of course, Scent Explore, which is something that happens here in this side of the world, not in Europe, here in the US, New York City to be exact, first week in December. Uh, I have you know, put this event together uh, in the last five years. It started in 2019 and it has been evolving as you guys have been following here on Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, or what have you. Uh, we do have a lot of people involved with this, with this event because it is about people. Without people, we have nothing. Without people, we have no fragrance brands. We are the consumers, we are the fragrance lovers. So this is made primarily as a people-centric event. Explore, discover, share, and connect. Synth Explore's ethos or mission is actually these four things. It is a B2B event, but it has an extraordinary B2C component to it. We have workshops, master classes. Again, I'll hit the website below for you guys. Check it out. If you haven't heard of Scent Explore, it is definitely something that I'm very proud of because it's not only you know in person, but it's also virtual. You can lock it in virtually through the platform that we created. So it is a hybrid international niche event that really brings the community together. So check out details below and let me know other events that you guys might have attended that you would suggest me check it out. And I'd love to, to learn more about other events that do bring people together. Because I think bringing people together, the different cultures, the different parts of the world is definitely something that I'm very interested in. And Synth Explorer does it very well. 
And of course, over the next few months, you're gonna hear more and more about Scent Explorer, not only from me, from other people that have attended the event. Uh, and of course, I do hope to see you guys there in person on December 1st and 2nd, 2023. More to come, so stay tuned. If you have attended previous Scent Explorers, you know the passion and love that is felt in that room. And of course, throughout the virtual uh, platform as well. And by the way, Scent Explorer is the only event out there that gives back to the community. Uh, last year, we gave over 220 bottles plus books and also a trip to Oman uh, for the Amouage Voyage, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw how beautiful that is. It is a spectacular trip that whoever wins will have a full agenda for full days. You're gonna really immerse yourself into the Omani culture, uh, the Amouage factory and so much more. And this year we actually, we're gonna have more giveaways for you. Not only the bottles, the books, the trip to Oman, but also a lot more news and giveaways that we're gonna be announcing very, very soon, so stay tuned. The two last hacks I'm gonna talk about is, number one, try before you buy it. I think it's a great way to try a fragrance before you actually commit to a full bottle. I've made a ton of mistakes over the last 20 plus years as I'm collecting fragrances because a lot of times I got excited about a review or something I heard of or a fragrance that was getting hyped up and I went ahead and just pulled the trigger and bought the fragrance. A lot of times I didn't like the fragrance, end up giving it away or it just sat on my shelf collecting dust. So try these fragrances, make sure you love them, wear on skin, make sure it agrees with your body chemistry because remember, if you smell something great on somebody it does not mean entirely that it's gonna smell, number one, exactly like what you smelled on somebody else or that you're gonna like the way it smells on your skin. So try it before you buy it. And we have a fragrance a partner of this channel who's been on business for many years now, which is perfume.com. In my humble opinion, the best place when it comes to trying fragrances before you buy it. Why is that? Because it has a tremendous inventory of fragrances, whether you're looking for indie, designer, or niche, vintage, hard to find. They have a gamut of great fragrances to try, incredible customer service, and very, very competitive fragrance prices and also incredible shipping. They ship worldwide, which is great. A lot of sites out there do not ship worldwide. So if you're watching me anywhere in the world, you wanna try fragrances before you buy it, perfume.com will have you covered. So all details below, uh, even if you go with different decant website, you know, whatever, I think that the main take here is to try a fragrance before you buy them. Don't commit to a full bottle until you really love these fragrances. If you can, why not try it before you buy? I think it's a great way to do it. You can actually make sure you love the fragrance before you cough up the dough and end up spending thousands of dollars on fragrances that you're actually not gonna enjoy. So try before you buy it, it's a great hack. Perfume.com is my uh, suggestion, advice to you, but you can do whatever you want, you know, try whoever you want. But I think when it comes to uh, the great ratio of, you know, being satisfied with the fragrances you try before you buy it, perfume.com is second to none. And last but not least, the fun part. You're ready to proceed with buying fragrances. You know what you love. You wanna enhance your fragrance wardrobe, your fragrance collection. You wanna find those really hard to find fragrances or fragrances that you can't wait to, to add to your collection, whatever the case may be this is where the discount websites come to play. And there are two websites that I would highly suggest and recommend you guys that I've been talk, talking to you guys about here on the channel for the past decade, which are going to be number one, a website that I've known the owners for over 12 years, so over a decade, and I've bought hundreds if not thousands of fragrances from them. Max Aroma is the website, and by the way, it is not mine. I get asked this question almost on a weekly basis, Max Aroma, even though it has Max in the name, has nothing to do with Max Forte in the sense that it's not my website. I'm not a partner of that website. I just love the website and I love the people that run the website. I've known them, like I said, for over a decade. And I highly suggest you guys check them out for great discount prices of great fragrances that you guys are looking to purchase. And of course, the partner of this channel now for going on six plus years, fragrancebuy.ca is definitely one that I highly recommend. And both of these are my go-tos, but fragrancebuy.ca, I, I tend to buy there more often because of one thing. They do have a rare gems section in their website, which I love because I do find mostly hard to find and discontinued fragrances very often on that website. But both are great for you know indie, designer, niche, what have you, new releases, you name it, anything and everything fragrance related. When you're ready to commit to a full bottle, both websites are great. All details below if I have any codes for you guys. As always, you're on the channel. I do uh, share that with you. It goes back to that, finding you know fragrance reviewers and content creators that you resonate with. We do share great value for you guys 
within these, these videos. And of course, here's no different. Everything listed below in the description of each video to make your life easier. Everyone is going to have a different journey. Some of you watching this video will favor designer fragrances. That's what you love and that's fine. Some of you will like indie or uh, niche fragrances. You'll think that's where it's at. You know, it's going to be, you know, more daring, more mysterious using the finer ingredients in the world. And that's good too. There are great designer fragrances out there as well. But again, due diligence, research, content creations, you know, people that you do love, the content that they create, you resonate with them, books, you know, events. The more research you do, the more you're gonna learn about the industry, uh, costs, and all that good stuff. So again, each journey is different. I leave you with this tip. Find your niche, find your journey, your ethos, what you love. But one thing is for sure, guys, fragrances are going to be a great, um, you know, element to add to your life if you haven't already, because it is, you know, connect it to emotions, memories, sensations, feelings. It is one heck of a journey, guys. And to me, it's very similar to like any kind of arts, whether it's painting or music. It's something that really rings true to me. I think that it's safe to say that any, everyone watching this video, whether you've been collecting and loving fragrances for decades, or if you're just getting into fragrances, you can attest to the fact that this journey is a very rewarding uh, type of a journey that is great to begin. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope these hacks will help you. And if I forgot anything, please leave it in the comments. And as always, show support. If you do enjoy the channel, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you right here with another video very soon. Take care.